It came from the third the dimension. Predictions from 2016. I'm Ada Vega, your host, and I have here Mr. James Tate. And uh, we're going to have some predictions. We're going to have some fun on this podcast with uh, predictions we hope to happen in the near future of the year 2016. So before we look forward, we have to look backward. But to understand the future, we have to go back in time. And we had some predictions on episode two of the 3D show, which was... Did? Yeah. And uh, they're, they're kind of... if around there um you know so this is kind of just fun looking back you could listen to episode two on the you know to hear all of them themselves but just kind of a recap of some things so you're most looking forward to avengers age of ultron the most yes and majora's mass 3d and the new 3ds yeah i was dreading the new 3ds not having enough releases yeah yep so i was pretty right to dread that Okay, you predicted Avengers 2 will do well. It did. Um, Ant-Man will be very interesting, but you don't know how well that would do. Yeah, it did pretty well. Star Trek 3 will come up with something. So let's... <laughs> yeah, we were right there. <laughs> I mean, they're going to be coming out this year, and they're going to be a new TV show, so that's something. <laughs> Um, more details on Zelda U. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> a Star Fox, kind of. Yeah. Uh, Metroid, no. Nope. Okay, this is a big one that you predicted, and this is pretty awesome, James. You said, Sony and Marvel will work out a deal to get Spider-Man added to the DCU. MCU. Damn it. So you got that I on the money. I said that there? You said that there. Wow, cool. I get the prize. So uh, back in, remember in January of 2015, we were just rumors talking about they wanted to do it. They actually did it. And we haven't seen him yet, but we're going to see him by the end of the year, Spider-Man in the Marvel movie. Um, more confirmation on Phase 4 for MCU, you said, which is kind of hazy. I don't know what that really means. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we got, you know, I don't know. That's, eh. So you said Capcom will buy out, uh, be bought out by Nintendo? No. Nope. Uh, Sony is recovering in 2015, which is, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> kind of. Okay, here's some of my predictions. Avengers Age of Ultron is a big success, but not as big as the original, which is actually true. Yep. Uh, Fantastic Four will be a failure, <laughs> <laughs> which is true. It became a failure. Um, Ant-Man is a disappointment, which actually it is not right. It, I think it's actually a really good movie, you know. For, you know, for the material, I'd say it's pretty good. Um, comic book movie being played out, drum will start beating in 2015. This is kind of a vague idea um, because... There's some people I'm reading online on message boards and forums, you know, comment section that are starting to really get tired of saying that. So it's not like a big drumbeat. It's just kind of the back of people's minds drumbeat, you know, not as big as I would have imagined. Um, yeah. Um, Nintendo buys out Sega, which is wrong. Um, Spider-Man deal is a huge win for Sony and will save the company, which is yet to be determined. You know, Sony is bleeding money, but they still survive for years and years. Yep. So um, that's the 2015 recap. You know, for this year, I decided to really mark down specific things. Um, I asked James to have a few very specific things. So we're going to go through this list, um, not in any kind of order. Um, but here are some predictions for 2016. I know we're recording this on January 31st, 2016, um, so the first month is over, but there's still a lot of things that could go on. You know, January is usually a pretty dead month in news and movies and stuff, so, um, you know, the rest of the year should be pretty big. So, James, would you want to have a prediction for next year first? 
All right. My first. I'm gonna be major... typing these out as you do them, so that we're right. easier. My my first major prediction is that we kind of talked about this a little before in some of our recording, but I'd say that this year virtual reality will make a huge boom with the release of the Oculus Rift. That will continue strongly into 2017. Okay. Okay, that's my first prediction. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Um, so I kind of have a similar prediction, but not necessarily the same. Um, basically, I don't know how to put this. Um, so I think that virtual reality will be a success, um, but not as big a success. Like, um, here, what did I say? It will be a small success. Oculus Rift will be a small success. Um, um, so it won't be like a massive, you know, sells 20 million things, but it will be a success. It will make some money. It won't be a, oh my God, you know, huge success, but it will be a decent success. Well, I mean, a boom is kind of interpretive. So... Okay, do you have another? Um... Uh, my second prediction is that kind of the same as kind of the same as I did for Ant-Man is Warcraft Warcraft the movie will be an interesting movie and might be pretty good, but I'm not sure how it'll turn out box office wise. Okay, I'm going to stop typing cuz I know it's kind of loud to type, so I'm I'm just not going to do that anymore, but um Okay, um, so I got another one here. Let's, let's, I'm going to stay on the VR um, thing here. So, All right. Sony's VR is going to be priced less than the Oculus and be a bigger success. Which is kind of a, a, possible, a, you know, possible. a jerk move, but Sony's been doing done that before. Um, uh, can I go again? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> All right, I'm going to say that Zelda... Zelda, the next game, will n- no information will be released, and if so, very little will. For the Wii U. Correct? For the Wii U? Yes, for the Wii U. Okay. Let's, let's try to not have Wii U stuff, because it's not, but um, whatever. Okay. Um, I'm going to, as I'm going to piggyback off of that and say the Zelda movie will be a next Flix exclusive. And that was real. That was a big thing that happened last year, and it just kind of went nowhere. But I think it's going to be a Netflix exclusive, and it's going to come out this year. All right. All right. So what What else? Um, sticking on video games, I think that there won't be any more Mar- – there will – we won't see the likes of Mario in this year. No Mario this year. Okay. That's a pretty bold prediction. <laughs> Nintendo always has a way to jam Mario into different games. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So I'm going to have a prediction for the 3DS that a Splatoon game of some sort, not a direct Wii U port, but a game in the Splatoon franchise will release and be announced this year. Um, I think this is because Splatoon is such a um, big franchise on the Japan. It's sold a million copies. It's a big franchise here in America, too. And 3DS is a bigger system in Japan than everywhere else. So I think it's a really easy thing to um, predict that they're going to have some kind of game in the Splatoon franchise on the 3DS. All right. I'm going to make kind of a bold prediction concerning Splatoon. I actually have one, too. Okay. And that's Splatoon will become Mario's – or not Mario's – Nintendo's. Call of Duty, and that they'll start releasing their game, the, a game of Splatoon, every one to two years. I'm not saying that in 2016 we'll see another Splatoon game, but I'm saying in 2016 we'll get announcement that there will be another Splatoon game. Okay. For the console, I mean, and maybe maybe one for the 3DS, but I mean for the console, you know, console release. 
because you know you know all the companies kind of have you know that franchise that first person shooter franchise that's online you know they my microsoft's got halo and you know you know what i mean yeah that basically it's gonna continue on it's not gonna um yeah of some sort so it basically basically is similar prediction to mine yeah um Okay. What? What else? Okay, I got some I... amiibo predictions, James. Okay. Everyone loves amiibo. Yes. Um. So, in 2016, we're going to get amiibos that are going to be of objects, not necessarily characters. Huh. So there will be an amiibo of a master sword in the pedestal. There'll be an amiibo of a Star Fox R wing. There'll be an Animal Crossing house. Um, there might be like one for all the Mario power ups. There might be a Metroid Crozo statue, a Pokemon ball. Hmm. That will be amiibos um, that will come out this year. Huh? Interesting. I got another a top of prediction it's a, with Amiibo. So this is two separate ones. One is going to be the objects, and this one is variants on characters that are already released will come out. There will only be a few of them, less than ten. So, for example, Wario is going to come out in his yellow outfit. Uh, there will be a female villager from Animal Crossing. There will be Samus in the Varia suit um, color scheme. There's going to oh. be a few of these variants of the same character, but different poses, different outfits, you know, not dramatically different, but enough that people are like, oh, I want that. I want that, you know, new version of, um, you know, whatever character in that position, you know? Yeah. They kind of did this um, with a Rob. I mean, they did it on purpose because Rob, you know, there's different color schemes, a robot for the uh, Japan and the U.S., you know, so they're actually releasing the Japanese color scheme in the U.S., um, I think in March. So yeah. I think they're going to just continue on and have a few more variants of Amiibo. That could happen. That could happen. All right. I think that in 2016, um, c- characters like the most recent... Uh, people added to Smash Brothers will actually not get Amiibos. I don't think that we'll see a Bayonetta Amiibo until maybe late, late 2016. Okay. Um, I'm also going to make a very bold prediction. Okay. Civil War will do better than Batman v Superman. (laughs) Okay. That's what I say. I think that there's more hype because there's more films behind the Marvel MCU. Now, um, talking about Batman Superman, my prediction will be that Batman Superman will be the highest grossing mo- uh, movie of March. It will make a record for March release, which is going to be a really easy thing because there's not been that many March releases for movies. But it will have you know, a press release, biggest movie release in March ever. You know. I think that the Deadpool movie will be a will become underrated very fast. Okay. Well, similar to the way that the Wolverine did. Now, um, I actually planning on Deadpool being the first 3D movie I, re- I review this um in 2016. Um, I had tickets to see the Finest Hours, but I didn't feel like watching it. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, just as a side note, um. Okay, let's stay on to movie stuff. You're going to like this one, James. This one might make you laugh. Desperate for 1990s nostalgia, Warner Brothers will announce 3D animated movies for its very popular kids' TV shows, Animaniacs, Tiny Toon Adventures, and Pinky and the Brain. Really? And Freakazoid. And Freakazoid... (laughs) will be kind of like a kid's version of Deadpool, because he'll be self-aware. Man, I'd love to see a Freakazoid movie. <laughs> so, yeah, 90s 
animated TV shows that people really love will be coming to movie theaters, not this year, but they'll be announced this year. So you that could happen. That could happen. We never know. Uh, Maybe you know. we'll get more news on that Nick, Nickelodeon Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll have that stupid movie co- Underdog come out this year. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> it's probably shoved forever. It's like, no, there's no good time to release this crap, so I'm not going to release it. The animation is so terrible of that. <laughs> They might just release it directly to DVD or Blue or Netflix and just forget that it even came out in theaters. You know? Well, if it comes out in Blu-ray around here, we got to watch it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have another one. Um, so let's go on to Metroid. Um, there will be a Metroid 2 remake of for the 3DS. So the uh, Metroid 2 Return of Samus was an original Game Boy Advance game. It's a Metroid 20th Anniversary 2 as well. And um, Metroid 2 is probably the hardest game to go back to. Not that it's difficult. It's just – it's such a – It's green. It, it, the game I beat Boy, it. it. It's just – it's hard to, to go around that area. It's easy to get lost in, and everything looks the same. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a good game. It's just – It's a short game. It, it, yeah. It, it's the perfect game to remake to really make it look gorgeous in 3D and the 3DS and have much better map system, much better Metroids to fight. It's an easy game to remake that anyone that played the game could recognize it's an easy... It, they shouldn't remake that because it, it just doesn't hold up as well as other games. All right. Another thing that I... Kind of similar to the last thing I predicted last year. Officially... The rights to Fantastic Four will go or be shared by actually Marvel, not Fox. Okay, so that's what I say. Because Fox knows that they can't make any more films with the because they'll just flop. Yeah, they're not so... going to reboot it. They would be stupid to reboot it, reboot it a third time. They're not going to do that. They're going to give it to Marvel. Yeah, so they might have. I think that some kind of deal. With them, I don't know if Marvel is going to use them right away, but then they just have a reference to them or something. Okay, um, yeah. here's a big one for NX. Do you have any NX r- rumors, James? Because um, we're going to try to have a. It's, it's such a hard thing to. All right. Yeah. Predict. I actually do. All right. M- let me talk about mine first. So the NX, Nintendo's new system, will be given a 2016 release date, and it will have some games and uh, things shown off for it. But it won't actually come out in 2016. Even though they announced it would, they will have to backtrack, and they'll be embarrassed, and it will release next year. And the current president Nintendo will resign in shame because they promised this year, and then like a, a month or so before Ooh. release, it will have to be delayed because they're not ready, and it will just be a big embarrassment to Nintendo. So no NX this year. Yeah. Yeah, I can actually agree with that because we still don't know the official name of that thing or any pictures of it whatsoever. We only have vague ideas, and the majority of the information we know about it is rumors. Yeah. You have to remember that in, in let's say, um, 2013, we knew a lot. Even in January, we knew a good deal about the Wii U. Mm-hmm. Uh, we knew the name. We knew what it was kind of going to be about, you know? Um with the NX, they don't have anything, and it's – to me, it doesn't really seem like – you know, consoles well, consoles do not – are not like movies where they kind of try to hide the features of the console because they try to kind of get people hyped up mm-hmm. and let people know how it's different. Okay. But yeah, the, the president will probably resign in shame. Oh, well, that's my prediction. What are your predictions? I hope. I hope. <laughs> It, I have a similar prediction that the NX will be released in November of 2017, mm-hmm. and they, they they will talk about the 2016 release, but nothing. There's no there's okay. So yeah. you're with me that it's not coming out this year. Yeah, it's not coming out this year, and if it did, Nintendo would be stupid. 
So we're that's a double prediction. We're gonna lock that in. The Nintendo new system will not be covered out in 2016 that we know of. Now the only caveat may be in Japan because Japan always gets things first, or usually <laughs> does, you know. <laughs> So who knows? Maybe, maybe. All right. I think it's a bad time to release a new console. I think Nintendo's in a lose-lose situation where if they don't release something because the Wii U's fading badly, the 3DS is sold really well but it's dying down, and they don't want to put all this development stuff into Wii U stuff and knowing a new system's coming out. So who knows? I don't. It's it, the. Nintendo with video game consoles and new hardware is always so hard to predict and imagine because they always have things we'll never imagine before. You know, when I saw a remote, the Wii remote, I was like, well, how does that thing work? It's like, I don't know. You know, <laughs> how does the, yeah. you know, be, you know, it's kind of hard to imagine this, James, probably for you even harder. But before the DS came out, no one cared at all about um, touchscreens. They were a passing fad, you know, they came out on different Palm Pilots, and it was not really used. And Nintendo just said, hey, we'll use this touchscreen technology for the DS system, and, um, you know, and it became popular again, especially after with the, all the phones being touchscreen. But, I mean, it was not really used. So it's, it's interesting. Who knows what's going to happen with that? All right. Yeah. Um, kind of talking about mobile phones, not directly, but... So most of the mobile games that Nintendo is going to release on mobile phone games that Nintendo said um, that they're going to release also on the 3DS. So uh, most of them are going to just be really dumb Japanese games that people in Japan will like that most Americans and other people in the world will be like, that's dumb. You know, there'll be some notable things, but I think most of them are going to be dumb. And just dumb cash-in games, and they'll be released on the 3DS too. So it's not necessarily going to be a um, a big deal. I mean, it, there'll be some interesting yeah. stuff, but I think most most of them that can work on the 3DS will come out on the 3DS too. Yeah. All right. You got another prediction or no? Um. What else? What else do I think about? All right. I'll, I'll keep year. going then. Um, right. Super Mario Sunshine 3D will be released on the new 3DS, and uh, it will be exclusive to the new 3DS because the old 3DS can't handle that kind of graphics. And um, mm-hmm. obviously, with the C nub stick on the new 3DS, it'll be much easier to play. And um, it'll actually use Amiibo functionality. Get this for Splatoon Amiibo. And you put the Splatoon in there because Mario, uh, Mario Sunshine's all about water. The Splatoon will give you different colored water, just like in Splatoon. And you'll have more, you know, upgrades to your water gun that, you know, because of Splatoon. So it will be more direct connection with Splatoon. You know, Mario Sunshine will be given a new coat of paint. Ha! <laughs> all right. What else? Yeah. Hmm. All right, I'm going to go next uh, if you don't have anything right on top of your head. I will say that drones will be used to make some really cool 3D videos. Okay. It's kind of vague, okay. kind of out there, but who knows, whatever. Drones? Yeah, I can see that. What else could I see in 2016 happening? I don't know about Suicide Squad. All right, you think Suicide Squad might be a, a flop or not? As... May, yeah, maybe be a flop. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. okay. I'm going to say Crackle, the Sony video streaming website, is going to start showcasing 3D, 360 3, uh, VR movies on there. So, you know, they're going to really advertise with the PlayStation VR and say, on Crackle, you could watch, you know, other videos in 3D, in 360 virtual reality on Crackle. You know, because Crackle is owned by Sony, so it's a really easy transition to put stuff that would work for your VR Sony onto that. Yeah. 
instead That's of true. like YouTube or something. That way, it, it'll make it'll try to really put Crackle on the map because Crackle kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Crackle. I don't. Have you ever seen uh, TV and Crackle or, or movies? No. Does okay. it suck? <laughs> okay, so it, you know it has it's a free app unlike Netflix or Hulu, uh, but you have commercials. And the thing is, whenever I watched it, if it's a TV show that actually had commercials. It's not too much of a problem, you know, but sometimes um, the commercials will repeat. So you basically see the same commercial four times and that's just like, oh, my God, I'm so annoyed by this. And then if it's a movie, they'll put commercial (laughs) ads whenever they want. So it won't even be like it'll be cutting off people's sentences and like in the middle of a scene. And it just, you know, usually TV movies are much better about editing and making it not so crazy. But Crackle... You know, you watch a movie and like halfway through a scene, oh, commercial. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm right in the middle of this, you know. <laughs> so it just, I, I can't stand it. It, it drives me crazy. Crackle. Ugh. All right, get on yep. prediction. Mm. Well, I'm also going to say that in November, that Doctor Strange will be the, the most highest gross film of November. It'll like take over November. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to say, in, find, in the front of Finding Dory, the big animated movie from Pixar, we'll finally see the trailer to Wreck-It Ralph 2. Huh. Because they've been talking about Wreck-It Ralph for a little while now, and that's a very easy thing to combine together. People are going to see Finding Dory. Wreck-It Ralph is a big known franchise. That's a perfect thing to put together. And um, that would be the first way you could see it. You know, it'll probably, the release, the, the, you know, at whatever, trailer will be out the same day. But, you know, that way you could see it in the theater connected to that. All right? All right. I got one more. Uh, Pikmin will re- be released on the new 3DS in some fashion. It won't be Pikmin 4, but it will be a Pikmin game. Um, I don't think it'll be a port. I don't know if it's going to be Pikmin 2 remastered or or some kind of mini game thing. I don't know. But there'll be some kind of Pikmin game on the new 3DS. I say new 3DS because Nintendo really wants to... Um, the power of the new 3DS is going to give it much better graphics and able to make their levels better. And they're gonna. I think this might be the year new 3DS finally gets some decent games, especially from Nintendo. So I think finally the new 3DS will finally have games. So, yeah. Hmm. yeah. Any other predictions, James? Nope. <laughs> okay, do you want to... 2016 is kind of unpredictable. You never know. You never know what's going to happen next. <laughs> yep. All right. And 2017 will even be worse. <laughs> <laughs> Our our uh, magical eight ball, three D um, <laughs> not eight ball. Who am I talking about? The crystal ball of the future is too hazy to see that far into the future. <laughs> we can barely see twenty sixteen, but now we can we cannot predict twenty seventeen. That's too far from the. Well, us. we'll be saying that when we get to two thousand seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, well hope you had fun all with right. this one. I'll see you guys. All right. We'll we'll do another prediction. Assuming the website's still up and running next year, which uh, probably will be. Um, probably will be. <laughs> <laughs> Unless the NSA takes us down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you know, we'll probably do another recap of this. And um, yeah, you know, yeah, of recap, course. And then predict 2017. You know. It, it was fun, you know. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I think we should do this every year. And you know, there's some stuff that we got right last year. Yeah, yeah. Some stuff we, some stuff we got right. Other stuff we got horribly wrong. Um, <laughs> it's fun. So you know, I yeah. hope you enjoy this. So yeah, that's gonna be it right. for a prediction show. Bye. All right. Bye. <laughs> Okay, so that's going to conclude the podcast. Remember to rate this podcast on iTunes and on Stitcher Radio. Also remember to follow us at 3 d 2 dcom on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram.
please comment on the website and subscribe to us on YouTube. Finally, I hope you enjoyed the show and thank you for listening. Bye. Bye.